guys this morning i'm going to be doing a um sort of um first impressions video and um, i'm going to be trying out the new laura mercier uh, silk cream moisturizing photo edition foundation now this is the new and improved version of the original silk cream which i didn't really like that much because it was really really thick but this one is the new formulated one and I've actually already tried it once before and I really really liked it but I thought I'd show you on camera how long this was and I'm going to be checking out um, back with you throughout the day um, to check on the foundation. So this is the shade Bamboo Beige which is the shade I was matched to and it comes out in a tube applicator so I'm just going to take a little bit onto the back of my hand and they say use a um, sponge to apply it for more natural effect so I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just dab it on and pat it into my face so on first impression this foundation is really really light um, but I think the coverage is definitely buildable um, blend in the rest of my foundation So this is just a thin layer of the foundation on and I used a beauty blend to blend it and I quite like the look it's very very natural but I think you can definitely build it up to a more medium to full coverage and I'm going to go ahead and do all my makeup and I'll come back with you so later. I've done all my makeup now um, I finished off with a bit of eyeliner and did my eye makeup and also put a little bit of lipstick and bronzer on um, it's 10.25 at the moment so I will check back with you a couple of hours later to see how the foundation set so so far I really really like the look it's really really natural it's definitely medium to full coverage foundation I have built up a bit more um, layers using the beauty blender and it's definitely built it up to more of a medium to full coverage and I really really like the look so I'll check back with you in a few hours and I'll see you then hey guys so it's actually a lot later now it's seven o'clock um, in the evening and I have been applying this foundation since about 10 30 in the morning so it's been about nine hours now and I could definitely see my overall complexion to be a bit more shiny and I definitely would have to touch up and um, powder as well but other than that I think nine hours of wear is pretty good and all I've been doing today is filming and editing and I've just been in the house all day as well so I haven't been outside um, but one thing I have noticed about this foundation is that it's accentuated my dry patches a little tiny bit and my cheeks has definitely gone a little bit flaky from um, the dryness and I was just a bit disappointed because this foundation is marketed to be a moisturizing foundation and I'm not sure if it's just my skin or um, the products I'm using but it's definitely accentuated my dry patches which I'm not too happy about so it's just a side note um, if you are willing or if you are planning on purchasing this foundation then if you've got dry skin I would um, maybe get a swatch or maybe get a sample of it first and try it out for yourself before purchasing but other than that it hasn't oxidized on my skin it stayed put all day and um, apart from the dry patch it's really really good so I will check back in with you maybe um, just before I take it off um, at the end of the day I'm going to head out for dinner now and I'll check back with you in later hey everyone it's about 8 o'clock now and I'm ready to take my foundation off and I have been wearing this foundation since about 10 30 in the morning and it's worn pretty well and the last time I checked in with you now uh, was about an hour ago and I had to powder um, and blot but um, I've done all that now and it just looks like I just put it on again and it's really really good and the only thing I would say if you can see on my cheeks it's gone um, it's really really dry at the moment um, it's quite flaky and same on this side as well but naturally um, this time of the year my cheeks are really dry as well my whole skin is quite dry um, because of the changing seasons but other than that I think this is a really great foundation it's definitely medium to full coverage and it gives a really flawless um, look as well so I've been filming videos all day um, using this foundation and they look really really great too so overall this uh, foundation definitely got a thumbs up for me and I think it's a really good uh, medium to full coverage um, 
but if you are definitely thinking of uh, purchasing this foundation then I would definitely get a sample from a Laura Mercier counter first and get a colour match and also try it out for a little bit first if you have dry skin like me um, to see if you've got the dry patches as well but overall really great foundation and I hope you all um, all enjoy this first impressions video um, and yeah let me know in the comments what you think and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!